Hello, Aries. Your toxic love reading for the week begins with lust and medicating. This is your energy. This is the toxicity, your person, pain, and stagnant. All right, so we're going to start off right at the deep with these toxic love readings going right into um, the toxic energy that is on both sides, right? So let's get into the center. What is at the center here? We have <clears throat> four of wands crossed with four of swords. And for you, your energy, eight of wands, six of pentacles, nine of swords, your person, high priestess, six of cups. And the tower at the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. So seven of swords talks about treachery. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave that one right there. Yeah. Seven of swords is all about treachery, uh, backstabbing, thief in the night energy, somebody who really sneaks in. Um, and it's a swords card. We're talking about mentality here. So somebody who is very sneaky with their communication, their games, you know, they really plot, you know, that's a lot of plotting energy here. Um, right away, let's just talk about um, these toxic uh, energies here, lust and medicating. Okay, Aries, so you may indeed, <clears throat> you know, you may indeed right now be drinking a lot, be self-medicating a lot, right? There's something going on with the lust connection here, which we're going to get into with clarifiers, of course. Your person is um, resonating with a lot of pain and stagnation, all right? A lot of pain and stagnation. So, sh listen, pain can come from a lot of places. You you know, you can be the perpetrator of toxicity and still and be in pain, and you can be the victim, you know, and oftentimes goes vice versa. But let's get right into your center energy for this toxic connection. You have a four of wands and a four of swords. So clearly this was a new, fast moving relationship, right? This was a very fast moving four of wands is Venus and Aries in your sign, you know, Aries. So the love was fast here. It was, you know, it was like a whirlwind romance. And now you have four of swords crossing it. And there's like stagnation here, a decision. Okay. There's your stagnation coming in because that four of swords is really all about um, sitting back and deciding what you're going to do next. So a feeling of everything having gone very, very fast in the beginning and suddenly now holding back, you know, holding back, holding back, holding back, not willing to move forward with any plans just yet. Now, um, how are you feeling? How's your person in this toxic connection? Well, you know, you're coming in right now. It seems to me, uh, Aries, that you have a lot of energy coming into you. You've got a lot of, um, you got a lot of options. And I think this is where lust is coming in. Uh, for you right now, I feel like you're not, you're not feeling all that committed. And this is why also you're not in a space where you're making much of a decision. Eight of Wands, you have a lot of emotions right now. And I feel like you might be having emotions for a lot of people. There's, you know, there's a lust here. And this lust is not for the person in this toxic connection with you. Right now, uh, Aries, you're having your head turned, right? You're having your head turned. Six of Pentacles is there and Nine of Swords is there. So there's a, there's a conflict here. Aries, um, the conflict is, I think you feel bad. I think you're feeling bad about your lust for other people right now. And I'm not saying feeling bad in the sense that like, you're like, oh my God, I need to go confess. But it's like, you're in a connection with this person here. And right now you're lusting heavy, hardcore after someone else. And you're concerned here because I think this connection here started off very strong. Four of Wands, it started off strong. Um, but it's losing its luster. It's losing its luster. And it's losing its luster because right now you have other options coming into you. Many options. And I don't even think it's just one person. Could also be that, listen, Leo, uh, why did I say Leo? Some of you are dealing with Leo energy. Listen, Aries, um, right now, 
it just feels like this is kind of who you are to a certain degree. And you may have fallen into this thing with this person, um, promising the world. And this may be your MO. You often do this. You know, you fall in with somebody. It starts off like a whirlwind romance. You know, you guys are together and all of that. And just very, very quickly also, um, your eye is turned somewhere else, right? Um, your person, they know what's going on. They know what's going on. Um, th they know what's going on and an event comes in for them that really is like opens up their eyes. They have high priestess tower. So something happens here along the way that really um, causes them the pain, okay? So listen, uh, Aries, I think, what, listen, I'm feeling here that, um, you know, this seems to be an MO and the toxicity here is that I feel like Seven of Swords is showing up as well. I feel like this is this is kind of like what you do, right? You hook up, get together, you know, promise them the world, Six of Cups, they're in love and love, all this love and affection. Um, you share a lot of money with them. You know, you both resonate with sixes here. So there's a lot of sharing and generosity and everything is great. And then all of a sudden, very quickly, uh, you you move, you know, yep, Knight of Swords, energies, the sun comes in, lovers, yeah, and that's where you're feeling guilty because that lovers, you know, you know that you can't really <clears throat> come through with it, right? High Priest is covered by the Emperor, there you are showing up, so she sees you, uh, meaning she, not in gender, could be male, female, doesn't matter, but the, your person sees you, they see you for, you know, for what you're doing and who you are, Page of Pentacles and King of Swords, they absolutely see what's happening here. They see you and they see how you are. You're a conqueror and you've got a wandering eye, right? And um, listen, it's a lot of pain for them. And the stagnation, because of course the, re re the relationship is starting to stagnate, you know? I mean, absolutely, because you're starting to turn away. Listen, this is not a good way to keep going. Medicating as well. I think there's a lot of probably some alcohol involved. You know what I'm saying? And meanwhile, they're kind of like going through it. All right. Um, what's going to end up happening, though, I do feel like they're going to be moving on. They're, they're, um, listen, they're figuring some stuff out here. They're, they're, I, I feel like also this person that you've been dealing with, they might be quite a bit younger than you, or they may just be inexperienced in love. And you really kind of played them. All right, Aries. Um, listen, Aries cross watchers. If you're coming here for this, yeah, they played you, you know, they, you know, because you just, you, I think you may have been dealing with somebody who's been playing games a lot longer, you know, and it's not, listen, this is not a flex, you know, this Aries, this is not a good look for you here. Right. You really come off as like you need to have some sleepless nights because you really were dishonest and deceptive. I mean, I think to a certain degree, you try to tell yourself you're in love in these moments with these connections. You give your you know what I mean? You you to a degree, it's like you want to believe you're you know, you want to believe it. But, you know, deep down inside, you know who you are and you know that eventually you're going to move on. You know, like you, your eye wanders, your head is like really, really quick to turn. Let me pull out uh, some animal spirits here. <clears throat> your head is extremely fast to turn. Um, and, you know, and you know that about yourself, which is why you, th which is why I think you have a lot of guilt here, right? This is guilt here because you know that ultimately this connection is going to end. Ultimately, you're going to hurt them. They're already in the process of having a lot of pain. And I think you just really want to deal with this and sort of um, save them the pain that you know you're going to bring them, Aries, because you've been around this block before. And nevertheless, they're going to find out. And when they find out, listen, when they find out, they're going to be mad. That King of Swords is coming out. When they find out, they're going to be really mad. They're going to, you know, when the proof comes out about what you've been up to, there's going to be hell to pay. You know, there's really going to be hell to pay. Big arguments, fights. There may be some retribution. You know what I'm saying? I mean, King of Swords, you know, they're going to come in blazing. You know? <clears throat> Listen, uh, the end of the day, let's let's see if we can get, before we get the animal spirits, let me get a couple outcome cards possibly here of what this energy can do. 
Queen, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and Ten of Cups. Wow. Well, somebody finds their lover. So somebody finds their lover here. Somebody finds their connection. Ten of Cups. This is interesting. One or you or your person in this toxic connection uh, really find their lover. Now, it could be, listen here, Aries, you may find out here that your usual sort of toxic ways of like loving them up and then being really cagey and stuff, you may find out here that this person is the one you actually love because you have King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. This may be the person, this person that you are playing this game with now may be the actual one and you're playing the game with the wrong one and you're about to miss out. So possible outcome here is that if you're coming to this, re to this reading, and you're realizing that something is up in this connection, you know what I'm saying? Um, you might be waking up to, hang on a second, have I effed up with the wrong person? Because what you're having here is just lust. <clears throat> what you have here is literally just lust. There's no love here. You have a love connection with this person, right? Don't F it up. Because for this to be your outcome, you have a strong chance here to turn everything around, otter and oyster. Well, there you go. Two, uh, water animal spirits, the otter associated with love and affection and being focused on the one that you love. And the oyster is the keeper of secrets. And, you know, just how dangerous that can be, you know, a reminder that secrets just aren't good. You know, holding on, holding on to secrets, living a life of secrets just means you have no life, right? Um, this is interesting, Aries. You may be able to turn it around here with this person. Because you love them. The, listen, it's a whirlwind romance, but yes, it did start off with a bang, very fast, very strong. It's your behavior, your toxic behavior that's threatening it all, all right? So I would say here, especially here, there's some sun that comes in for you. And here as well, where you're feeling guilty, listen, you may be feeling more guilty than you ever have before because in this connection, you actually love this person. You actually love them. And you just can't go through with it. You can't go through with screwing them over in a way that I think you probably have before with others. In any case, even if you've never done this before, whatever you're doing here, knock it off because this is the person you really want to be with. And that's what's coming out here. You have a strong opportunity here to save this before things go sideways. Because when this tower moment comes in and your person finds out how much you've been doing, it's not going to be pretty. All right, Aries, this is your toxic love connection reading for the week. Talking about a connection you have with somebody where there is toxicity, there is shadow, there is some danger of losing them. And um, here, to sum up, really, you have everything in your hands to fix this um, to change your ways, really, and to kind of wake up and mature a little bit because you're causing pain to exactly the one person I think that ultimately you've been looking for for a long time. But you're so used to behaving a certain way and so used to letting, allowing yourself to play these kind of games here that you may be, in fact, in danger of losing them. All right, that's it. Aries, Aries Cross Watchers, thank you so much for watching me. Please like, subscribe, and share. Sound off in the comments if you're going through this. All of that really helps my channel, but that's it for right now. This is Bow and Arrow Tarot, and I hope to see all of you back on my channel next week for the Aries Toxic Love Reading. Bye-bye now.